It's a big M&A deal in the fintech space with the global giant Process buying Buildesk for $4.7 billion. It's one of the largest deals you'll see in Indian fintech. It's being done via PayU, which is, of course, the payment arm of Process. Joining us now to talk more about this landmark transaction is Jitendra Gupta of Jupiter. Why did we get him? Because he had founded a company called Citrus Pay along with Amrish Rao, who is now the CEO of Pine Labs. The two of them had sold Citrus Pay to PayU and Jitendra, in fact, has even served as a managing director of PayU. He's now, of course, trying to change India's banking landscape with Jupiter. Jitendra, thank you so much for talking to us. You know, it's one of the largest transactions that you're going to see in Indian fintech. Buildesk is, of course, a payment gateway. It has reportedly been on the block for a while, but $4.7 billion, uh, that's a lot of money. Does it really show that Indian fintech is now commanding a premium? Yeah, Nentara, first of all, thanks for inviting uh, on your show. And uh, just want to caveat that uh, before I answer your question that whatever I'm answering is my personal views do not represent Payu's views in any matter. So just take it with that uh, uh, statement. Okay, so, so your question, uh, in terms of uh, uh, whether uh, whether this valuation justifies uh, in, and whether the Indian fintech ecosystem has become deep enough, I think if you look at uh, the last five years uh, payments landscape in India, I think the demonetization and this COVID uh, has clearly accelerated the digital journeys of Indian consumers. And plus, I would as I would give credit to Reliance Geo as well, who sort of gave the smartphone uh, internet penetration to the masses and which means the market has become tenfold compared to what it was five years back so i think while valuations uh, people say it's, it's an art not a science uh, but clearly it the transaction shows that there is a enough depth which is being reflected in the indian payment ecosystem and I think that depth is an outcome of size of the market, which is growing very, very fast. Like we have seen in the last five years, the market size has grown 10x. And I think going forward also, I see the market size maintaining at least 40 to 50% growth for next decade. So from, well, today the valuation might sound rich, but I personally feel that two years down the line, it, it, it will not sound rich at all. It will rather sound what a cheap deal. So. So, so I think, uh, uh, in, in my view, it's a fantastic uh, deal by PayU folks who did this transaction and clearly it will take them into the next big league, uh, not only in India, but in the Asian market. In fact, you know, Jitendra, the press release that has come out, Process has said with this m and its, uh, its investment in Indian tech will go up to $10 billion and that uh, PayU will, will become one of the leading global payment players try, with having total volumes of north of $140 billion. Uh, so, you know, it clearly has big plans. But from an exit perspective, you know, this is a fantastic exit uh, for the founders of Buildesk. Buildesk was founded in 2000, 21-year-old startup. Will that also bolster sentiment when it comes to fintech? Well, definitely, you know, any any good transactions and exit to investors with healthy returns clearly signals that the India has a potential to offer to potential investors. So I think uh, from that standpoint, uh, uh, with this exit, I personally feel that there will be increasing interest from existing investors to the digital uh, uh, payment ecosystem as well as the Indian fintech ecosystem. Plus, the new investors from US and European and other markets will try to come to India because now they are seeing exits happening. I think five years back in India, the challenge was that uh, people were putting money into Indian ecosystem, but there were hardly any exits. And I remember when Citrus deal was uh, ha Citrus deal happened in 2016, it was classified as one of the largest cash exit in fintech ecosystem. And that was like what one thirty million dollar deal. We are talking today four point seven billion dollar deal. So how the scale has changed in just five six years, I think is commendable. So and and that deal itself created a lot of waves in the Indian ecosystem. And the new set of investors came in. 
the 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 whole startup ecosystem uh, celebrated that deal now looking at this deal i'm sure it has it has set the new benchmark in the indian fintech ecosystem and and now this paytm ipo coming up uh, again another new benchmark will be set up hopefully in next 30 60 days so i think uh, we are the best is yet to come and we we will see the best of indian fintech ecosystem in next decade which is the decade which is just started now So you answered my next question, which was that what will it do for the uh, bunch of IPOs coming out? You got Paytm, which is coming out. You've got uh, Mobi Quick also. You know all of them from Indian fintech. But you know the other thing I want to ask you: if you look at uh, Buildesk, it had marquee investors at the cap table, right? General Atlantic, Tamasek, Visa also bought a stake, uh, I think, in 2020. Um, so having said all of that. Uh, is it also clear that standalone payment gateways will not work does this transaction also signal that you know neither i would not say so and the reason is uh, i think builders uh, uh, and they were actually one of our inspiration to start citrus uh, way back in 2011 and and i must admit that they were one of the most solid payments companies and and kudos to their founders that they built one of the india largest payments company and the most profitable payments company till date by the way in the whole indian fintech ecosystem builders is the most profitable fintech uh, you would find around so 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 i would not say that uh, statement and i think builders also had a very very sticky client base uh, which none of the new players could uh, break into uh, so and and i think that made the builders as an asset as a very very attractive asset for any uh, player with the financial muscle to uh, absorb so so i think all in all i must say this was one of the very solid payment asset available in india uh, while yes they they uh, they were always news around they talking to potential buyers for last couple of years i'm not sure how true those news were but uh, but i think uh, uh, i would not say that uh, the stand alone payments companies can't survive we are seeing uh, razer pay uh, putting its feet and uh, they are sort of growing very very solid so i feel that we will see at least two to three more such companies germinating uh, or uh, or sort of taking shape becoming large in coming years so uh, i'm very bullish personally on the indian payments uh, ecosystem so uh, i i feel uh, uh, we are seeing two companies now two large companies payu and uh, razer pay we will see three or four such more companies in uh, next 10 years like if you look at us market uh, and the us despite just 300 million population i can count at least 10 large companies there like uh, from adn to stripe to first data as global payments total systems there are at least 10 large companies which are the, uh, the vante or you know the fifth third bank and like uh, like the name just paypal and the name just goes on and on and on so and india is a market like forex bigger more evolved now and and growing very very fast so best is yet to come in indian payment ecosystem